what's up guys it's the mobile agent gamer here and this is gonna be my first coin making guide what an accomplishment for this channel um i'm probably just going to not give out like any specific filters yet just because i want to talk about some more uh in general coin making tips that'll work for all promos instead of like focusing on like a just super bowl coin making filter so um the first thing that's gonna happen is investing so a lot of people don't know that investing is um pretty much how you make coins in madden like you basically like you buy a certain player when he's like really low and then you sell him when he's really high. all right so for example i'd like to point out that this 90 uh matt bosher from the super bowl player thing uh a lot of people probably did a set and they probably got a 90 pointer out of it which is pretty cool but uh what i noticed is that the only other 90 plus punters in the game were worth uh, upwards of like 90k. So, and uh, when this mad bosher hit the auction house, look at this, look how cheap he is. He's like 40k. I mean, not even cheap. I mean, expensive. But it's, uh, you have to like snipe him for 40k now. But it used to be, I bought like, uh, you used to be able to snipe mad bosher for like 20k. So, what I did the like hour after it came out, I bought all these mad boshers. I have like 20 of them. And so I bought them all for like 20-ish K, give or take. And I'm hoping that they go up to like 75 K. That is 50 K for each of these. So 50 K times 20 K, you can do the math. That's roughly a mil, give or take, of course. So I'm gonna be making just a million from waiting like two weeks and just, you know, not really doing anything. Going about my normal manner routines. And then I'm just gonna one day have an extra million coins. So um, yeah, that, that was that strategy. And then, so basically investing is, you just have to look at supply and demand. That's the fundamentals of investing. If you've ever taken a business course or whatever, um, you just, whenever a bunch of one specific player comes out, you have to recognize like that, uh, like, okay, he's gonna be rare, but then he's probably gonna go up in value. So let's just buy him right now for cheap. And a good, another good way that I spotted this was, I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a 90 Le'Veon Bell that uh, used to go for like 15k at one point, and I think he sells for like 30-ish k. Yeah, 35k. So he goes for like 30k now, but he used to go for like 15k when uh, there's like a million of him on the auction. So you buy him up, and then boom, like if you bought enough of him, you'd make like 20k per. And uh, I'm just gonna give you a few players that I think personally will go up. Uh, this is 92 or the 96 uh, Michael Vick. I definitely think with his speed, uh, he'll definitely go up. Looks like he's already going up. Dang. All right, so you could probably get him for like 400k, maybe. Yeah, you could get him for like 400k. Now, we've never had 92 QB with 94 speed, so he's definitely gonna go up to at least I'm hoping 600k. So. I might invest him in, I'm not sure, but I think he'd be good to look out for. 96 picks also, of course. Uh, as NFL playoffs is coming to a close, uh, I would probably maybe watch out even for this uh, 89 punter. I forget his name. He plays for like the Lions or something. This 89 punter who only goes for probably like 45k. Uh, who probably only goes for like 45k. And... Yeah, so he only goes for like 45k. Uh, I'm probably not gonna buy him, but 89 punter. He's probably gonna go up to at least like 70k. So that's another play you could look out for. And that's just pretty much how investing works. And then of course, another way to spot investments is for, uh, live events. So today this defensive game plan live event came out, and this is perfect because game plans are worth a lot, and people are gonna be pulling bronze and silver game plans and putting them up for cheap, mostly because you know. If there's so many game plans on the auction house, there's gonna they're gonna be worth less and they're gonna be put up for less. So it's this isn't even a hard filter. This is a really basic filter. Uh, you do game plans for like 7,500 and silver. And look at that. It's like it dropped for like 2,500. Now it was like this morning. I had a round where I got three for like a thousand and. I, these will eventually rise like 17k like no matter what if you if you snipe the worst one so that's like something you got to recognize like I can make an easy 30k in like five minutes you know how long it takes for the rounds to drop so that's something to look out for like 
uh, if there's like a legend live event, you're gonna wanna try to snipe those new legend collectibles, cause those are gonna be cheap, and, uh, that's gonna be the investing portion of the, um, coin making guide. Now, when I'm recording this video, Ultimate Legend has not come out. It's gonna come out tomorrow, Saturday, uh, the 11th. So, uh, ooh. Do I snipe? Probably not. I'm too slow. Yeah, way too slow. <laughs> oh my gosh, the round just dropped too. And, yeah, my phone does this thing where it's like, it takes a long time to update. But yeah, like, uh, forget about the 101s and 150s. You're probably, you know, bots and other you know, people with insane sniping, like, skills just are gonna be too through this. But, like, the 6k one that I, like, massively failed at sniping and the 5k one you could realistically at least get one of those and then you could be selling for like 17k tomorrow so that's gonna be like 10k per piece that's so like 20k profit right there that's how easy that filter is but um anyways uh what you uh like so for ultimate legend uh i can't say that i i have credit for this because i just watched a video by uh, king madden you guys should check out his channel i think he's cool but um quick shout out there uh but i watched this video and he said that uh with ultimate legend normally uh like whenever there's trophies needed for a set like elite or um gold trophies there's gonna uh they're gonna rise in value eventually which makes sense because i mean people are gonna want those elite trophies and then they're gonna be worth more so what i'm doing probably is gonna snipe these for like 16k maybe Ooh, uh slime is nice yeah, I'll just go ahead and buy these for 16k. Uh, maybe not. Uh, let's see if there's any left. Alright, I guess I'll just pick these up for 17,500. Pretty basic, but I'm hoping that, let's say there's, um, if you played, uh, Madden last year, you know that there's an Ultimate Legend set where there, you, like, traded in Elite Trophies and you got a badge, and, uh, Elite Trophies, like, spiked in value, so I'm hoping... These 17,500, it's gonna go up to like 30k, and it's gonna be like 10k profit in about uh, what time is it right now? 10:09, and the promo drops at 7 Eastern, which is gonna be 6 Central. So that's gonna be like in eight hours, that's gonna go up to like 20k. So I just made 20k right there, pretty much. That's what I'm hoping on. Okay, yeah, I just won my league championship. That's nice. Um. So yeah, that's what, uh, that's what my bench looks like, pretty much. Uh, I don't want to drop, yeah, so this is what my, uh, like, this is what I have so far. I'm probably gonna also stock up on gold trophies, just cause that might be a smart idea. I might do a couple elite, couple gold, and then, uh, ooh, I'm gonna sell these bronze trophies. A lot of you don't know this, but for some reason, bronze trophies are now worth, like, a crazy amount of money, like, it is insane how much bronze trophies are worth. Like, you think they're worth like 101, but look up trophy. I'll just do trophy. Bronze for like uh, 1500. And dang, look at all these. Look at all the. Okay, uh, I might have exaggerated. But I mean, just like look at how much like bronze trophies are worth. Like, you don't. There's no way like you think they're worth like 1k, but they're worth 1k. Like, these will sell. So. Um, I'll just go ahead and say, like, one filter I've been thinking of is, uh, it's just pretty basic bronze trophies for 500. Now, this is not the most lucrative filter in the world. No doubt about that. You're gonna make, like, probably, you're, if you, even if you buy five of these, you're only gonna make, like, 2,500. But, if you only have a couple coins, this is a really good coin-making method to start. And, um, and, of course, once you have bronze trophies, don't trade them in for silvers. Uh, it's also actually smart to continue with the silver thing where you buy silvers for 500 and put them in the set because if you get a bronze, instant profit. If you get like six bronze, that's like a thousand piece and then you made your money back. If you get six silvers, you trade them in for a gold and the gold trophy might go up too because, uh, you know, King Madden's video said that gold trophies might be featured in the Ultimate Legend thing. I'm not too sure about gold trophies. I, I'm definitely betting on elite trophies. For like the set players but not gold trophies so but you, you trade five silvers in for gold that, that that gold might be worth 6k you can sell for 6k and then that extra silver trophy you sell for like 800 profit um 
and then if you get like more than two, more than one gold, that's profit right there. So honestly, the uh, six trophy packs are slowly becoming like win-win situation. Like you're at you're guaranteed money back. And then I, you know, if you pull an elite trophy, that's crazy profit. So that's probably gonna be it for this short and sweet coin making guide video. I hope you learned something from this, especially investing. You really do take the time to invest. It will be worth it in the long run. Don't. If anybody says that you're making a stupid investment, just uh, trust that uh, you will, at the very least, make your money back. So that's gonna be it for this coin making my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this coin making my video and you want to watch more videos like this or just love my channel in general, go subscribe, go like, go comment, and go join the Max Squad. I'll see you guys all next video.